What is up, everybody? It's Javier with the Enriched Fires, and today we have an interesting news story for you. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know that next two weeks might be a bit busy for me. Uh, hopefully, within those two weeks, I'll have another video for y'all, but uh, it might not happen uh, just because I'm, I'm graduating college, I'm moving out, so a lot of times going to be moving everything from here back uh, to where I'm originally from, and then the week after, I may be taking a uh, trip to Mississippi to see family. Uh, but yeah, so just so you know, I'll still try to have a video out, uh, but if, in case one is not out for whatever reason, that's the reason why. But enough of that, let's go ahead and get to this new story. So I found this story and it really intrigued me. I wanted to give my take on it. So Florida teen accused of rigging homecoming queen vote with mom charged as an adult. She could see up to 16 years in prison if convicted. Uh, this article comes from Bill Hutchinson over at ABC News. So a teen is as an adult. A teen charged as an adult has pleaded not guilty to multiple felony counts stemming from a Florida high school homecoming queen contest that prosecutors allege she and her mother rigged by hacking into a school district computer system. If convicted, Emily Rose, governor 18, a student at Tate High School in Penn, Pensacola faces a maximum sentence of 16 years in prison. The state attorney office in Escaba County, Florida, confirmed to ABC News on Wednesday that Grover had been charged as an adult. Defense attorney Rondell Etheridge, who's representing both women, told ABC News on Wednesday that she's already filed written non-guilty pleas to the court. She also requested a jury trial. These are good people. They're not crazy as some people are trying to depict them. They're basically distant people, said Etheridge, adding that Grover's father and Carol's husband is one of the best friends that he's representing them pro bono. It seems to be that there is this uh, high school girl, who's Carol, who's up here at the top here, and, uh, not Carol, sorry, Emily, uh, her mother's name is Carol, and she apparently rigged the homecoming queen election, which is done through like a computer voting system that she was able to gain access to because her mother is the principal's assistant. So because of that, she's able to get access to certain things, including uh, what is called the focus system based on what this article says. It's uh, basically a system that allows users, uh, as long as you have a password and correct login information to like view IDs, view medical histories, basically gain information that a no normal outsiders and non-faculty people of a school should not be able to see. And apparently Emily used this to have a bunch of students vote for her as the homecoming queen. Now, according to this, let's see, Grover and her mother are each charged with felony offenses against users of computers, computer systems, computer networks, and electronic devices. In addition to felony unlawful use of a two-way communications device, felony criminal use of personally identifiable information and misdemeanor conspiracies to commit those crimes. Now, in terms of this, I don't know in terms of the Florida law, what kind of sentencing this could be, but in terms of the crime she actually did commit, which is if these breaking the elections, I think going to prison for 16 years for that is a little harsh. Like, the worst thing, the two things, like, I think we know for sure, he did is we rigged the election for a homecoming queen and, you know, was using uh, an account slash system she was not supposed to. But 16 years in prison? I don't know about you, but I think that's a little harsh for just this. <laughs> like, you're going to take away her ne the next 16 years of her life um, just for this? Like... I Maybe we don't have enough information because these are quite a few charges on it. I don't know how much damage is done, if there is any other damage done or any uh, other unlawful uh, things that have happened because of uh, uh, Emily's ability to log in. But so far, all we know is that she rigged the homecoming queen uh, election, which, of course, is wrong. And I think that, you know, punishment is suitable, like being suspended for school. I think that's totally a suitable punishment for doing that. Uh, absolutely. But going to 16 years to prison, I've been to homecoming dances before. It's not that anything special. It's like homecoming queen and queen, you just get a crown and that's about it. It's like 16 years for that? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. I think it's harsh. And I think most people would think it's harsh to go 16 years to prison for just rigging a, not like any federal election or state election or anything like that, just a high school homecoming queen election. I think being suspended to school, like I said, is a fine punishment, you know, but 16 years in prison, I think that's hard. I've seen videos of what prison can be like. It is not fun. And I don't really think that she should go to a terrible place like prison just for that alone. But again, maybe there are other applications of 
uh, what she did that could have uh, harmed the system or school that maybe uh, I'm not considering or not. I think we need maybe some more information uh, regarding it. But if, if like all that she did was, as far as we know for now, is use the system that she wasn't supposed to, she's not supposed to see those certain things like uh, students' accounts or whatever, and she used it to rig the homecoming queen result, election results. I don't, I don't think she should go 16 years in prison for that. And I think most people don't either. At least I hope they wouldn't. 16 years in prison, you know? Like, we get... I don't know. Maybe we'll see more regarding this story. But, yeah, that that's just... It's really mind-blowing to me that they want to send her 16 years to prison just for this. Yeah, I think that's about it for this story. Uh, got another video planned coming. I'm hopefully going to try to film it slash uh, edit it in the next couple days. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you want more news stories slash media critiques and reviews, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care.